Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabrielle and I have a super quick video for you guys. It is the final update on this hair that I have in, which is from Melanin Doll Hair Company. You guys have been asking me, where's the update, where's the update? I filmed an update video like a few weeks ago, but I just did not like how the lighting was and all of that so I had to wait so I'm getting it out to you guys now so if you would like to hear my final thoughts on this hair keep on watching okay so I'm gonna leave the links to all of the videos that I've already done on this hair down in the description box along with the company's information but just to recap I have four bundles and a lace closure in um, I ended up taking their closure out and putting another company's closure in just because it was um, a better match for blending and matching with my scalp and all of that good stuff. I'm gonna leave the original list down in the description box as well. Okay, so I did end up bleaching and dyeing this hair a few times. The color is definitely fading. So I'm gonna end up redoing it with the Manic Panic Hot Pink. But after I bleached it and dyed it so many times, I'm impressed how this hair is still holding up. In fact, I like the texture more um, than I did when I before I dyed in and messed with it and all of that because it feels different. Like before, I, I can't explain it. It was dry and I know if you bleach and dye the hair, it seems to be dry, but it literally did something to this hair. So to me, it feels better. The only thing that I would say I don't really like about this hair is the fact that the curls don't hold for a long time. Like these curls will probably drop by the end of the day. Although this texture does not hold a curl very long the curls are really really beautiful and for me flat ironing it trying to curl with a flat iron and then with our curling iron the best way to curl this hair is with a flat iron so besides that i'm not having any issues with shedding tangling matting none of that unless i'm co-washing the hair and i obviously get um a couple strands when I'm doing that. So when it comes to what products I use on the hair, when I co-wash it, I use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner, but I have tried the Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner. It is a little bit more cheaper, and it definitely works just as well. So if you guys don't want to spend like $14, $15 on Shea Moisture, I would definitely use the Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner. Now, I went to Sally's the other day and I had purchased the Moroccan oil. I'm not sure what the name is, but I'm going to leave it down in the description box as well. And I put it on the hair and it literally made the hair feel so soft and smooth. So I would definitely recommend using that on the hair. Now, I did end up cutting about three or four inches off of this unit because it was just easier to handle. I'm going to put a clip of how this hair looks in its natural state. I did like it in its natural state, but I prefer to wear it once it's been straightened and curled. So the question is, would I recommend this hair? I definitely would recommend this hair. This is a really good company. Um, I've heard and seen nothing but good comments on their page. So I would definitely check them out. I heard their curly hair is just absolutely freaking gorgeous. So um, I'm gonna leave everything down in the description box. And that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.